so here we're subtracting fractions. But to subtract fractions, the denominators need to be the same. Now the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4 is 12, so we can find equivalent fractions to 5 sixths and 1 quarter, which have a denominator of 12. 6 times 2 is 12, and 5 times 2 is 10. 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 3 is 3. So instead of 5 sixths, we can write 10 over 12, and instead of subtracting 1 quarter, we can subtract 3 over 12. Now we have a common denominator, so the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 10 minus 3 is 7, so our answer is 7 twelfths. Now 3 fifths minus 2 sevenths. Well 35 is in both the 5 and the 7 times table, so we can find equivalent fractions to 3 fifths and 2 sevenths, which have a denominator of 35. 5 times 7 is 35, 3 times 7 is 21, 7 times 5 is 35, and 2 times 5 is 10. So instead of 3 fifths, we can write 21 over 35, and instead of 2 sevenths, we can subtract 10 over 35. So the denominator stays the same in our answer, and 21 minus 10 is 11, so our answer is 11 over 35. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.